morning, boys and girls. Today's story is called Summertime in the Big Woods. And this story is reading for literature, but it's realistic fiction. It's actually a true story that um, the author, Laura Ingalls Wilder, wrote about her childhood and what she remembered about her childhood. But it has character settings and major events. So it's literature. It's not information, even though it's, a, it's real. Summertime in the Big Woods. So this happened a long time ago. Once upon a time, a little girl named Laura lived in the big woods of Wisconsin in a little house made of logs. She lived in the little house with her pa, her ma, her big sister Mary, her little sister Carrie, and their good old bulldog Jack. It was summertime in the big woods and the whole family was very busy. Pa worked hard all day long in the fields. Laura and Mary helped Ma weed the garden. They helped her feed the calves and the heads. They helped her gather the eggs. Summer was also a time for visitors. When company came to visit, Ma would do some extra cooking and cleaning, and there would be new children for Laura and Mary to play with. Sometimes Ma let Laura and Mary go visiting by themselves. They would walk across the road and up the hill to visit Mrs. Peterson. Mrs. Peterson's house was always very neat because she had no little girls to muss it up. She always gave Laura and Mary a cookie when they left and they nibbled the cookies very slowly while they walked home. Laura nibbled away exactly half of her cookie, and Mary nibbled away exactly half of her cookie. They saved the other halves to give to, give to baby Carrie when they got home. That was so kind of them. When the summer grass was tall and thick in the woods, and the cows were giving plenty of milk, that was the time for Ma to make cheese. Laura and Mary were always there when Ma made the cheese, helping all they could. They loved to eat bits of the cheese curd. It squeaked in their teeth. One day, Pa came home at noon with a surprise. He had found a bee tree. The wagon was filled with buckets and pails, all heaping full of golden dripping honeycomb. For dinner, they all had so much of the delicious honey. For dinner, they had, they all had as much of the delicious honey as they could eat. And Pa told them about the bee tree. He told them that the whole tree was hollow and filled from top to bottom with honey. Loris felt sorry for the bees, but pa, pa told her there was lots of honey left for them. After dinner, Ma washed the dishes and Laura and Mary helped. The dishes made little cheerful sounds as Laura and Mary wiped them. The windows were wide open to the warm summer night. Soon Laura and Mary were tucked in their beds, listening to Pa whistling softly to himself. It had been another happy summer day in the little house in the big woods. I can tell that this story is from a long time ago because just looking at the pictures, the house is made of logs. We know that was a long time ago. Ma is making her, look at this, they're gathering the chickens. And we also have Ma making the cheese. And now where do you get cheese? Yeah, you go to the supermarket, but somebody has to make it. And back then people made their own cheese. So this is a really nice story. There are a lot of stories from Laura Ingalls Wilder, and I highly suggest you read them. And when you get older, there are chapter books about her. All right, have a nice day. Bye.